All right, so I probably have some missteps here, but here we go. So we are multiplying some numbers together, um, and we have a product of one. So for that to happen, all of the numbers need to be either positive one or negative one, or we could have two positive ones and two negative ones. So because we end up with a, a product of one. So that's the first thing to notice. The next thing we have to notice is for that to be true, we know that m and a have to be consecutive. In other words, m minus a has to equal 1, or m minus a has to equal negative 1. It's so one of those two. Um, so we also know that uh, t and h have to be sequential. L and E have to be sequential, but then we notice we have the T and the E again, and they have to be sequential. And we know that each number has to be used once, so that also tells us that um, E and T cannot equal um, uh, using each value exactly once. Oh, sorry, I just got a text and I looked at my watch and I lost my train of thought. Hold on. Sorry about that. T and E cannot equal 1 and 6 because, uh, well, they, it's just too far apart, right? And so I also notice that we have, so if I look at the T, T is linked with H and T is linked with E. So T has to be, sorry, has to be in between these or we can have it like this. And we also see that the uh, E, oh my god, the T, okay, the E, what's the other one that's twice? The E, right. So we also know the E has to be in the middle of T and L. So we know that is also true. So, oh boy. All right, so that means, that means that essentially we need to, and this isn't as bad as I was, I was thinking. So essentially what that means is we have M and A. These guys need to be together, but they're, they're kind of like an outlier. Um, the other letters are sort of bound together. So we know that uh, we can go L, E, T, H, and that satisfies these requirements over here uh, in orange. Or, or we could also go H, the opposite order, H, T, E, L. So we can go both of the, these ways. <sighs> Well, what about the MA? So the MA, we can either tack on the MA here, or we can tack the MA here, and vice versa. So we can tack them here or here. So what that means is there are four different possible ways to, sat, to get to my one and negative one. So I know that there are four different ways to get to, that, that work based on this thinking right here. All right, there's no way in competition I do that to be able to do this. So don't feel bad if you didn't get it, but you're much better at math than I am. So maybe you can, um, or probably you should. All right, so then, uh, well, how many total possible ways are there to order these numbers? Well, for us to do that, well, we have six different uh, numbers, and each number, you know, if it's randomly selected, there's six options, five, four, three. Well, that's just six factorial, which is equal, equal to 720. So four over 720, well, I know that can be reduced. So I'm gonna pull up my calculator. I'm going to say 720 divided by 4, you probably did in your head, is equal to 1 over 180, and there's your answer. All right, so there we go. And I might get home on time.